Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and this is the first in a little series of videos where we'll actually take a quick tour of the Windows security or what was once called Windows Defender and uh, this is of course the anti-malware, anti-virus uh, software that's integrated into Windows 10 and that is I would say more than enough to protect you from um, any problems on the web for a very simple reason. The number one protection is you, not the antivirus. If you think the antivirus is there to protect you, you're actually thinking in the wrong way. So, in the taskbar on the bottom right, you will have this little shield with a green uh, check mark. Hopefully, it's green. And it has several sections. It might be hidden under the little up arrow that is it and icons that are of course on your PC so check there if you don't see it and of course you can also go into the menu in um, the start menu and check Windows security you should see Windows security with a shield under the uh, letter W in here the first item that we'll talk about today and take a quick look is virus and threat protection when you click here you have the possibility to scan. So you have quick scan, which means you can have a very, you know, quick scan that doesn't take a lot of time. And here it says it lasted one minute and 57 seconds. So two minute quick scan. It scans the, you know, places where you might have something that is wrong. You also can set scan options. When you click here in the scan options, you can set for quick scan, full scan. This can take very, very long, by the way, if you have a lot of files on your hard drive. You can do a custom scan. Custom scans are for specific locations and files. And finally, you can schedule a Windows Defender offline scan. What is that? Well, sometimes you might have a malware, you might have something that it detects, but it just can't remove it. It just can't do anything about it because it is uh, for some reason, you know, maybe using a Windows process and of course when it's held by something in Windows, it can't be removed. Doing an offline scan will ask your, will make your PC reboot and at the restart there will be a scan that will be done before Windows actually boots up and this might actually remove if you have something bad on your PC it might actually be able to remove and of course you've got this scan now button so you've got these uh, things of course there's allowed threat threats uh, why do you want to have some allowed threats well allowed threats is because sometimes you might download a file that uh, the Windows security falsely detects as a virus but it's not necessarily a virus uh, it could be a file that you download, for example, gamers that you might have uh, uh, key gens and stuff like that that are detected automatically as viruses by the software because they are kind of a v in a very, very vague and very uh, sometimes in a, a, a spot where you don't really know actually what they do on your PC. But some of you might have one that, you know, you're okay and you know that it's fine. Of course, you'll have to al uh, allow... Uh, Windows Defender to accept that it exists and it's there. Then you have the virus and threat protection settings. In here you have no action needed and you got manage settings which will bring you the real-time protection panel. You got to turn it on and make sure that real-time works. Cloud delivered protection. Uh, automatic sample submission. If there's something that Windows Defender thinks it's not sure, it'd like to know a little more about it well, automatic sample submission will send a copy of that file to Microsoft for more uh, tests, basically. And, uh, of course, you've got the tamper protection, which uh, will actually uh, stop others from, from actually changing some of the imp important security updates or features, sorry, on your uh, computer. Control folder access that I've talked about in a video where you can actually decide and control who can write to a specific folder on your PC. Uh, of course, exclusions, items that you don't want to have scanned, 
and notifications where you can actually see the not notifications appear and the quick actions. So for example, when it does a quick scan on the quick action menu here, I will get a notification that it did a scan and everything's all right. You've got the virus and threat protection updates, so you can check for updates. Typically, there are several updates a day that make sure that your PC is fine. So you can check out the virus protection updates. And finally, ransomware protection. And you can check out the ransomware protection management. It has to go and it has to do with controlled folder access. Controlled folder access is not accessible by any software that is not in a list. So it technically will make you more secure, but it's much more difficult. And finally, the ransomware data recovery uses OneDrive. If you set up OneDrive, you will have the possibility to have your files uh, re-downloaded back to your PC if you ever get hit by ransomware and your files get encrypted, for example. So that's the first section. Hope it's uh, clearer for you that what options are available there. And of course, we will have some more detailed uh, videos uh, eventually uh, looking at Windows security. So the virus and threat protection, and of course, it's very important that it says no action needed uh, to make sure that you stay safe. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.